Uh, you know they put the nuts inside so you can eat them? I know, but I hate peanuts, so I suck off the chocolate and spit out the nuts. So hey, will you come downstairs and fix my Jetix? It's making weird noises. Sure. Let me grab my tools. You know, I should buy some tools one day. Nah, you're too girly. Yeah. Hey, hi. <sighs> Mr. Pretzel, you're looking wonderfully salty today. Now, I hope this doesn't hurt too bad, but no! Cute. <laughs> so, why are you all happy smiling? Oh, wait, forget it. I know. What do you know? You've had the look in your face ever since you started dating James. Oh, stop it. My facial joy has nothing to do with James. Oh, please. You just don't understand guys. First, they tell you that they love you. Then they tell you that you're too clingy and needy and man, I'm hungry. <laughs> I mean, I know I can be moody and bloated and judgmental and I may not bathe as much as other girls, but I'm fun to be with, right? Right? <laughs> oh man, there's a hair on my honeydew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it was absolutely your fault. What'd he do now? He mangled Zoe's dance partner. Gene? What happened? A little scooter accident. Well, is he gonna be okay? Eventually. He'll be in the infirmary for a month. Tangerine for you, apple for me. Thanks. Sure. You're sure you can tell if a guy's a good kisser by the way he eats an apple? It's a fact. What? Imagine growing up in a house like this. I know, it's insane. Hey, will you pass me the blueberries? Yeah. Thank you. I wonder why they call them blueberries. What do you mean? They're purple, not blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. What's that? Potato chips. They look like potato chips, don't they? They're not potato chips? These are 100% healthy. No fat, no carbs, and no calories. Taste one. Hey, these are good. You made these? Mm-hmm. Out of what? Well, I combined macrobiotic Zorbitol with luminescent beryllium, then added periodontal molding gum with Nordic acid infused with potato gas. Is that safe? Possibly. Well, all right then. <laughs> what is going on in here? Oh, come here, come here, come here. <sighs> Smell my breath. <sighs> oh my God. I think I'm blind. <laughs> what did you eat? Tuna salad, sardines, garlic, black coffee, four large pickles, and a big bite of an onion. Well, congratulations, Quinn. You've achieved stanky. <laughs> Perfect. Why is Stanky perfect? Because I have quinvented the most powerful breath freshener known to man. Eat your soup. Oh. <gasps> Chase! What? Look in the bowl! Wow. You really must hate chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle? You okay? Um, yeah. I'm just... I guess I'm just 
tired. Um, mustard, please? A deal's a deal. Chase offered to sell Zoe the radio. Zoe said yes. She gave Chase the money, and he gave her the radio. Period. The end. The radio belongs to Zoe. But Chase didn't know what it was worth when he sold it. Neither did Zoe, so the deal was fair. I, I can't eat my sausage without mustard. <laughs> and anyway, Chase could have gone online and looked up what the radio was worth. But he didn't. Right, so it's his own fault. I, I just need one small squirt for my sausage. If Chase wasn't smart enough to determine the radio's value before he sold it, that's his mistake. Oh, okay, so if I owed you a dollar, and by mistake I gave you a hundred dollar bill, you should keep it just because I made a mistake? That's right. Hello, am I invisible? Where did I go wrong? Hey, Quinn. What's the matter? My banapple tree bites. Well, what's the problem with it? I don't know. I guess something must have gone wrong when I combined the molecular structure. What, the banapples don't taste good? No. And they're dangerous. Dangerous? How? Their juice is like a powerful acid. Here, look. Nightman, I'm starving. Are you gonna finish that corn dog? No. <gasps> really? <gasps> Can I have it? No. <gasps> and even more important, you're all mini fridge. Wow. And a sandwich from 1988. Uh oh. Get down! You got the stuff? Well, yes and no. What does that mean? Well, Michael got mad and he tossed the ravioli in the garbage can before he cooked it. So, you expect me to drive you to the book nook for a dish full of uncooked ravioli that you fished out of a garbage can? No. Eh, I'll take it. To call him and try to fix it, but you know, what's the point? Because three weeks from now, he's just gonna call me up with more complaints about whatever he's in the mood to complain about. One thing you can count on with Carl. Complaints, complaints, complaints. Hmm. Cookie dough? One Christmas, I go over his house. I'm knocking on his door for like five hours. Who's not home on Christmas? Another thing, he doesn't even know how to order a pizza. Who doesn't know how to order a pizza? You sure you don't want some cookie dough? <laughs> Very good. Hey, why do they call this eggplant? Doesn't look like an egg, doesn't look like a plant. So what should they call it? I don't know. Vegemush. <laughs> Vegemush, see, that's funny. So, do I get to hear this song before you guys put it in the time capsule? I don't know. What's it worth to you? Mm, about 15 grapes. Deal. So, what about you? Did you finish your time capsule DVD? Yep, last night. Cool. So, what'd you talk about? You know, just about my life here at PCA, my thoughts, my friends, what I like to do for fun. Y your friends? Mm hmm Doodle cake, doodle cake, doodle cake. Yes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm gonna get my doodle cake. I'm gonna get my... Oh, darn it! Give me my reduced back doodle cake! Oh. Oh, this stupid machine ate my dollar. Well, don't hit it. You gotta cake it! Oh. Baby food. <coughs> baby food? Quinn loves baby food. I am not eating baby food. <gasps> Out of the way! <laughs> Give me that baby food. Eat some baby food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Dustin! Oh. I'm calling Dustin! Oh. I'm calling Dustin! Oh. I'm Right now. I can't take being locked in a room with a bunch of insane freaks. Oh,
my grandma's barbecue sauce. No talking while Pierre's chewing. Uh, hey, Ollie, what are you doing here? You are feeling better? Yeah, I suppose, but <laughs> I told you, in America, we eat corn horizontally, you know, side to side. <laughs> so funny. Come and join me for their hop and flop. Hop and flop, who? Hey, that's the great Doheen. Yeah, he's a magician. <laughs> the greatest magician ever. What trick is he doing? They tied him up with ropes, and now he's gonna try and escape. I bet you he does it. That dude can escape from anything. Well, sure, because it's fake. Fake? Still fake. How can you say this is fake? Because if someone was really tied up like that, there's no way they could get out of it. <laughs> yeah, you can. You just need skills. Skills which I happen to possess. <laughs> so you're saying if I tied you up with ropes, you could get out of it. I can't believe you're going to get a tutor. Might not be so bad. Maybe it'll be a cute guy. Yeah, because chemistry geeks are so cute. Hey, I resent that. Not all people who excel in science are geeks, thank you. She meant boy chemistry geeks. Yeah, girl chemistry geeks are the coolest. Your sarcasm is noted. Just finish building that trap, because if I see that rat in this room, I'm moving to Wisconsin. Yeah, you better kill that furry little beast. I would never kill a living creature. Anyway, there's no need to. The rat will be lured to this wedge of Jarlsberg cheese. Then, the strobe light will blink rapidly, disorienting him. Then, a plasma bolt will fire from this chamber, stunning him long enough for me to grab him and put him safely back in his cage. I'm having a wonderful time, Mark. Um, what are you doing? Holding your hand. Well, are you not? Oh, Mark, I love it that you're so shy. Could you be cuter? I think not. <laughs> Look, Clint. Excuse me? Courtney? Courtney. I cannot believe this. Who's Courtney? I'm his girlfriend. What? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mark Dale Figaloe, are you on a date with this girl? No. No? Uh, I'm on a date with Chase. Uh, it, it's it's true. Uh, we, we we had a picnic together and, uh, and sparkling juices. They did. I saw it all. Yeah, nice try. I can't believe you do this to me, Mark. We are done. Over. Hey, will you do me a big favor? Maybe. Maybe not. What's the favor? Okay, you know the author, J.T. Hawthorne? I don't read books. Okay, well, I do, and she's like my favorite writer of all time. Salt. And um, she's going to be at the book book tonight. And my dad signed a permission slip saying that I could leave campus. Could you ask me this favor with less words? Will you drive me, please? What's in it for me? Well, what do you want? You want to know what I want? I can't find your husband. Fine. Hey, we're friends with Michael Barrett, right? Michael? Yeah, sure. Well, at last year's PCA potluck brunch, he made his grandmother special ravioli, and it was insanely awesome. I remember. OK, then. You get Michael to make me a batch of that magic rav. I'll drive you to Tijuana. Whoever eats the most hot peppers in one hour gets a single bed. Push the button. Let's go. Go. These aren't even that hot. I wish they were hotter. <coughs> the moon bars came! Fresh from New Jersey. Well, hurry up and open them. 
machines. Dean Murphys will have us arrested. They make my tongue sad. They're just so bitter. Oh. So, did you go to high school here at PCA? Nah. PCA just started letting girls in a couple of years ago. I went to this rat hole of a high school in Cleveland right next to a chemical plant. They had roaches in the cafeteria the size of, uh, they had roaches in the cafeteria the size, hey, keep it down, keep it down! She got sushi on my flute. Uh, let's talk about something more meaningful. Like what? Tell me about you. What makes you tick? Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I have my hopes and dreams like other girls. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's getting nervous. So? When Coco gets nervous, she sweats. A lot. It gets bad. Inside of singing, sunshine that you're bringing down. I don't deserve such a handsome taco. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. You're gonna share that taco with me? Yes, but that was not my idea. I was thinking, since this radio is worth 10,000 bucks, let's split it, you know? That way you get 5,000 you weren't expecting, and so do I. Everybody wins. I think that sounds very fair. Good, but uh, hey, don't bullguard my taco. Wow, that's good. What they call muy bueno. I know, right? 